Hello Internet. Today I want to show you my new soldering iron. It's PD210 from AliExpress. This isn't sponsored. I bought it for my own money on AliExpress. I was looking for something new to change my old TS100 because it's falling apart. And also it has a standard barrel jack which I used with Asus laptop power supply and it wasn't very mobile. I need something more mobile so I can use it in the field. So this is a very good iron. It still holds up. It has a power supply of 12 to 24 volts. All at the display. And I think it's very accurate. Which you can test later. But this new PD-110 has a USB-C power delivery input so I should be able to use it with USB-C power bank with PD. It also comes with barrel jack to USB-C adapter but I don't think I will be using this and a JBC compatible tips. I think it's JBC210, so hence the name. Just click it in and you're ready to go. So it's got a color screen and a capacitive touch sensor when you hold it here wakes up. So maybe before we power it up you can see what's inside. So you unscrew the front, got a brass insert, can get you a bit closer and we need some and we got three screws. The case is plastic so that's not great. But for the price, it should hold up. So inside, the soldering is quite good. Can we take off the board? The board comes out. You can see the capacitive touch area and a pogo pin that connects to it, here and there. So this is the voltage regulator for the MCU. MCU is here. Some optical isolation for the MOSFET and the MOSFET. And I think this is a thermocouple amplifier. It's going to this side. So this is very basic stuff. So let's put it together. You can insert the tip. and we can power it up. So I've got a USB-C PD power supply and a tester. It's connected backwards, output the input and the input is the output, but we don't have any USB-C pulleys and no one checks it, so it should be fine. So when we connect it, power is up. Can you see the display? Probably not. Maybe now, maybe I can dim the lights a bit, It'll be better. Now it's in a sleep mode, PD is ok, 8 volts, 8 volts here. So when I touch this part it should wake up or not, probably not, why not. So 
probably broke it already. Or do we need to? Ah, because in the Z it's uh, low power mode or off state, and the coffee is the sleep mode. So now it should, yeah, now it's working. So now we're drawing, ah, it's already up to temperature. Can you see it, but okay, I need to add some monitor to see what you can see because this is not great. Okay, so when you take off the hand from the sensor, it goes to the coffee mode and then it instantly heats up. So we can try and test the accuracy from the box. It has a It has a calibration mode, but I want to check how accurate it is from the factory. So now we have 310 degrees. You can see what what can we get if we can hold it in. So 306 degrees centigrade. Uh, it's quite good. In comparison to 310, we can go higher. 340. And it doesn't overshoot. 340. Can try to go lower. 870. I need to cool down, but it's pretty fast. And also, the sensor works very, very nice. Now it's heating. Now it's sleeping. Now it's heating. Now it's sleeping. The menu and it is. Simple or not? I got the system configuration. Uh, can you see it? For the menu, I probably will have to change the camera setup. So we we'll do it later. So let's test heating of the board. It's a thin board, but still it got a big ground plane. So we need to go, I need to exit the menu. And then we need to go to, let's go 320. And let's see how fast can we, uh, it's sticking a bit. Uh, it's struggling, but this is a small tip. Uh, but it's it's doing it. Takes a bit time. Yeah, it's not great. You probably need a bigger tip for this kind of job. It's more like for thinning the small parts, test points. This is no problem. Uh, it's sticking for larger ground planes would need a different tip. This should be compatible with 245 tips, which are bigger, but I don't have any because this is the only one it came with from China. Okay, let's compare it with my old T1, TS100. It 
takes a little longer to heat up and it also has only an accelerometer as a sensor for a sleep mode oh it's overshooting a lot because now i think it's set oh no it's set for 375 so let's go 300 what was this one this one was 320 let's try it 320 for a comparison This tip is bigger, so yeah, that's a lot better. Ah, but it's still sticking. Maybe we should get a higher temperature. Let's go 350. Uh, that's a lot better. We can also check how accurate this was. Because this thermometer is a new toy for me. So it's overshooting at 6 degrees. Should be 350. Let's go lower. Check 300. And cool it. Can you see the reading? Yes. Uh, 300 is spot on. So these tiny soldering irons are accurate from the factory. This is also original calibration from the old times. Okay, let's see if we can do 350. Ooh. Ah, it's sticking still. So the only way is to get a bigger tip. I should probably check with the 245 tip size. Ah, it's doing it. For micro soldering, this should be fine. I can see it's got a 4 amp limit and 8 volt settings. But as I said, we will check this at the lower light and, and close up. Okay, so let's go through the menu. So when you push it slightly, you go to normal mode and sleep mode. Now it's on. And you push, push it long. We have got the system set up. ADC calibration, power setup, color setup, exit menu, and that's all. So let's go to the system setup. Encoder sets the amount of temperature change through one push of the encoder. Now it's 10 degrees. Standby temperature is the temperature it goes when it's in standby. Standby time is 50, I think it's seconds. Sleep, sleep time is when you release the touch sensor. It's now for one second. Language is of course language. Reverse reverses the display. Initiate sleep is to put it in sleep mode. Work brightness is a display brightness setting. Reset is reset version. We got 1.0a from factory. Next setting is ADC calibration. So you just calibrate for all ranges. 
Then you go to power setting, you can set the current limit and the voltage limit. And also the EPS mode, whatever this is. And then you got the color setting, icon color. So this is the top icon, be yellow. Temp color, this is the main temperature display. Formation color. And went to sleep. Wait, I will have to go out and wake it up. So now you can see the temperature color is different. We also have a bar graph, you can check. Alright, this won't focus. Power bar, this is the bar graph, this red. Any color. Is the text you can see it's gray and make it lighter light blue opt color i don't know what this is and then an exit and that's all as you can see it's a really nice soldering iron and with the USB-C PD, it should be quite a mobile device. I think the standby temperature, which was 50, is now not letting this sleep without touching the touch sensor. Using the system setting, standby time. Let's go down. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Exit. Exit. And let's see now. We're hitting. And now I release it. One, two. I don't know. Maybe this is not in seconds, but in some Chinese time value thing. Okay, so that's all. See you next time.